Okay, here's the next bit. Uh, he's from Los Angeles. Uh, give him a nice round of applause. This is Josh D. Donato, everybody. Josh D. Donato. Make some noise for Chuck Roy. Yeah! It makes noise because we are at the Laugh Track Comedy Festival. God damn it. That is uh, the coolest thing that we get to say in showbiz. Make some noise. It's kind of a vague thing to ask a group of strangers, is it not? Right? When somebody asks you to make some noise, they're not asking you to make just any noise. There's like two. Applause and woo! Maybe ow! That's pretty much the gamut of the make some noise request. And uh, guys, I, uh, I want to let you know, I, I have a, uh, it's kind of an intimate crowd, so I can, I can hope up to you. Um, I have a secret hope that one day I'll, I'll uh, be at a show where somebody says that from the stage. And everybody in the audience is real, uh, is, uh, has never been to a show before, but they're really groovy and open-minded and everybody just makes their own noise. <laughs> it's not unusual, I may love by anyone. If somebody busted out Tom Jones from the crowd unsolicited, I would take off my panties and gingerly toss them to that person. <laughs> Which is uh, why I wear women's underwear on stage every night, just in case. You can check. Um, anybody excited? Uh, it's uh, opening weekend for the last Harry Potter movie. Does anybody give a shit? Yeah? yeah? Did you see it? Did anybody go see it yet? Yeah. Did, okay, I wanna, I'm curious if this happened, because uh, this is, Harry Potter is one of those movies where uh, certain big movies on opening night, people will go to the theater dressed as characters from the movie, right? Have you ever seen that? Uh, and you know, people talk shit about that kind of thing. Well, whatever, I don't have a problem with it, you know what? It's a movie about wizards, get in the spirit. Dress like a wizard, it's totally fine with me, you know? Some people can almost kind of pull it off too, like and make it kind of cool. Um, but you can't do that for every movie. You know, I, I, I remember I went out opening night at the theater, this is a while ago, and uh, a bunch of people came to the theater dressed as characters from Schindler's List. Not cool. I was not okay with that. I was a little freaked out. Um, I'm Jewish. If, I don't know if you... I, have, I got the name Josh DiDonato, so like, that name kind of keeps me under the Judar, generally. But, uh, and I didn't know this, but uh, some people need instant notification of Jewishness when they meet you. Like right off the bat, I didn't know that. But uh, sometimes I'll be talking to somebody who knows my name and uh, I'll just mention some Jew thing. You know, like uh, our Holy Day of Atonement or uh, my loyalty to Woody Allen or some banks I own, you know, whatever. I own a couple banks. All right, you guys use banks? Cool. Um, and they say, uh, oh, you're Jewish? And I say, yes which uh, I kind of think establishes me pretty firmly as a Jew right there. Uh, and then they say, Di Donato? And it's like, Di Donato. Oh my God, I just realized I'm not Jewish. I feel so much shame right now. I went to Hebrew school and got a bar mitzvah. I wish you would have asked me that question years ago. It would have saved me some chagrin. And, uh, and if it's a Jewish person, still not convinced, they'll say, is your mother Jewish? And I go, yeah, and they say, okay, then you're Jewish. Which is totally awesome when a Jewish person allows me to remain Jewish. There's really no greater sense of fulfillment as a Jewish man. Other than when you get to drown an aged Nazi in the jacuzzi of an Argentinian rest home. But I was really fortunate. We don't all get that opportunity. Was that an, oh, did somebody groan? Is this like a pro-Nazi audience? <laughs> like, oh, don't mess with the Nazis, man. They've had it bad. Um, I, have this, I have this Christian friend named Laura, who's such a sweetheart. Sometimes um, I'll just say the words Jesus Christ and not think about it. You know what I mean? Just like, Jesus Christ, it's hot out, and lightning, or, you know, whatever. <laughs> How do you guys do that? I thought God liked this place. That was what I was told. Anyway, um, so I'll just say, like, Jesus Christ, 
and uh, my friend Laura will just like start shaking and you know convulsing because it's her savior or whatever. And uh, so I want to change how I talk around her. She's such a sweetheart. And I don't know. There's probably some other Christians lying around this country somewhere. So I want to change how I talk in general, but uh, I'm not ready to give up blaspheming. You know, but you can't really say, Buddha, it's hot out. Nobody would know what you were talking about. You know what I mean? So I came up with some ways I could kind of switch it up a little bit and get the point across. Like, uh, Buddha's a rapist, it's hot out. Or, uh, stab Muhammad in the eye with a knife made of pork. I'm tired. L. Ron Hubbard throats his own cock. You're good at Yahtzee, my friend. So use those. I get, this seems like kind of a young crowd. I'm curious, uh, how many people here have uh, ever been married by a round of applause? Yeah, still together? Okay, gosh, you're so nice, you're laughing at my jokes. I feel really bad, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, that's actually not a legal marriage. You can't be married by a round of applause. You have to have a ceremony. So, go to a justice of the peace or a priest or a rabbi. Check it out. It's your, your living in sin. Sorry about that. Hope you don't have a baby. Okay. Um, I have. I have like. I think I have pretty wide, you know, tastes in in uh, most things. Do you, do you know? You guys know anybody who uh, is like only into the old stuff, right? Like you. Uh, you're talking about movies. You're like, what, what do you think of uh, like Martin Scorsese movies? You, you like him at all? Yeah, I like, I like the old Martin Scorsese, you know, like Taxi Driver, Mean Streets, those are amazing movies, you know, but like Goodfellas, The Departed, he totally sold out, man, he's no good anymore. Or uh, what, how about music, what kind of, uh, you like Justin Bieber at all? I like the early Justin Bieber, you know what I mean? Like two haircuts ago, man, he was awesome. You know, but I think like once he turned 17, man, he's past it. Uh, he didn't stay true to his roots. You into foreign languages at all? Oh, uh, Latin, I love Latin. But the early Latin, like, you know, Vini Vidi Vici, and some great, E, e Pluribus Unum, you know. Hate pig Latin, I hate pig Latin, man. That's, they fucked it up with that, man into archaeology at all. Oh, I love archaeology, but the old archaeology, you know, like uh, Paleolithic era, fucking amazing, brilliant, you know. Bronze Age, it's like, whatever, boring. <laughs> Seen it. What, what do you think of yourself? I don't know, I'm all right, I'm kind of a dick. I used to be so cool when I was young though, man. <laughs> when I was like eight years old, I was, Awesome. You know what I was really cool was like when I was a fetus, when I was like seven weeks in the womb, you know, and I was like, I was always I kicking, you know, I was so edgy back then. <laughs> you know what's really great was like when my dad was first entering my mom, but before he came, man, he should have never done that. He totally sold out. I just celebrated a birthday, guys. Yep. Uh, it was uh, Sigourney Weaver's birthday this last Tuesday. So, when I was some friends, had dinner like we do every year. I got her a pantsuit at Macy's. I, a few months ago, I was at Macy's and I was like, oh my God, that pantsuit is so Sigourney. I haven't heard back from her yet, but uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm rocking the Diet Coke. We got uh, any Diet Coke people here tonight? All right. No, that's about the response you would expect for Diet Coke. Do we have any Pepsi people here? I really am asking. All right, no, the reason I ask is because, uh, I don't know if you know this, if, has anybody ever had Pepsi Jazz? If, if you don't know, that is a real thing. I saw it once in a store and I didn't buy it. I haven't seen it since. If, if you didn't know, it's like there's a, recent strain of Pepsi available called Pepsi Jazz. And it's like, what is, I wonder what that tastes like. Like what would Pepsi Jazz taste like? I'm assuming it tastes really complicated 
and uh, irrelevant unless it's made by black people, you know? Um, and like if you have a friend who really likes drinking Pepsi Jazz and you try it, you don't really like the taste, they'll explain to you why you're wrong and you don't understand why it tastes good. <laughs> but I guess it, it sold really well because uh, at the end of the year, uh, they're coming out with Pepsi Techno, which is just awful and boring unless you're totally high and then it's amazing. You guys remember uh, when uh, the ozone layer had vanished and all the humans on Earth burned alive? Oh, sorry, too soon? <laughs> because it's literally... All right. Uh, who likes... Uh, I can't... It's, I really honestly have not seen if there is a light that has been shone. Okay, whatever. Uh, we'll just pretend that uh, it's a good thing this isn't on TV because of the empty chairs. Okay, uh, who likes karaoke here? Oh, I fucking love karaoke. She, you just outed your friend as liking karaoke. I saw that. I fucking love karaoke. Seriously, after, uh, after the uh, awards ceremony tonight, uh, I'm probably gonna need to go to karaoke because if you don't, if you didn't yelp or whatever, and you don't think karaoke's for you, go to karaoke when you're depressed. No, seriously. Because, I don't know, something about going to karaoke when you're depressed, it's just, it gives you the perspective on life. You know, you just, you go, you sit, you have a refreshing beverage, and uh, you see the people up there singing at karaoke, and you think, you know, I've got a long way to go before I hit bottom. <laughs> Those people are fucking pathetic. Here's the thing, I, do, I love karaoke, and if you're, gonna, if you're gonna do karaoke, most people think the annoying thing is like people who can't sing well. I don't think that. The worst thing about karaoke, here's my one rule, if you're gonna sing a karaoke, one rule. Know the song a little, a little. How much do we know the song, Josh? Well, I don't know. Uh, let's say the words of the song are on a big screen TV five feet in front of you. If you can read English and sing along, go for it. Otherwise, maybe just sit this one out, study at home. People pick a song that everybody knows, and it'll be like, ground control to Major Tom. Troll to Major Tom. Roll to Major Tom. Tom. Wife, I love her very much. She knows. Woo! Nailed it. All right. Thanks, guys. You guys have been great.